In this video, I'm going to solve this question. A certain club consists of five men and five women. A five member committee consisting of two men and three women has to be constituted. Also, suppose that Mrs. F refuses to work with Mr. M. How many ways are there of constituting a five member committee that ensures that both of them do not work together? And these are the options that are given to us. Well, there are two methods to solve this question. So first, let me start with method number one. So we have to calculate that in how many ways we can constitute a five member committee such that Mrs. F and Mr. M do not work together. So we have to find that both of them do not work together. So we have to find the number of ways in which this could happen. So let's form the cases. So uh, the first case could be that Mrs. F is selected. So Mrs. F selected. I'm denoting selected by S and Mr. M not selected. So N is not selected. Uh, the case two could be that Mr. M is selected. So Mr. M is selected and Mrs. F is not selected and third case could be that both of them are not selected. So Mrs. F not selected and Mr. M not selected. So these are the three cases that we could have if you want to find the number of ways in which both of them do not work together. So let's solve this step by step. So let's start with case number one. Uh, our case number one is that Mrs. F selected and Mr. M not selected. So now let us find the number of ways in which this can happen. So we are given that in total there are five men and five women and we have to constitute a committee consisting of two men and three women. So now because Mrs. F is already there in the committee, she has been selected. So that means out of the remaining four women, we have to select two women. Okay. So in total, we have to select three women out of five, out of five and two men out of five. So now because Mrs. F is selected, so that means out of the remaining four women, we have to select two women. And note that in this question, the ordering does not matter. So we can use combinations. So we can write that uh, we have to select two women out of the remaining four women. So that could happen in 4C two ways. And, and now because Mr. M is not selected, so uh, we have to select the two men out of the remaining four men. So that means here, the number of ways in which we can select two men out of four men is also equal to 4C2. So the number of ways to ensure that this is the case are equal to 4C2 multiplied by 4C2. And this is equal to 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial. And solving this, we get 6 multiplied by 6 and this is equal to 36. Now let's move to case number two. Uh, the case two is that Mr. M is selected and Mrs. F is not selected. So case two, Mr. M selected and Mrs. F not selected. Now once again, we have to select three women out of five and two men out of five. So uh, let's first talk about the women part. So we have to select three women out of five and we know that we have not selected Mrs. F. So that means now we have to select three women out of the remaining four women. So we have to select three women out of four and we can do this in four C three ways. Similarly, we can talk about the men selection part. So in total, we have to select two men out of five. So in total, we have to select two men out of five. And now we are given that we have already selected Mr. M. So that means we have to select one man out of four. Okay, and we can do this in 4C1 ways. So 4C1 and this is equal to 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial 1 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial 3 factorial and solving this we get 4 multiplied by 4 and this is equal to 16. 
So there are 16 ways to form a five member committee in which Mr. M is selected and Mrs. F is not selected. Now let's move to case three. Case three is the case where Mr. M is not selected and Mrs. F is also not selected. Now in total we have to select three women out of five and we are given that Mrs. F is not selected. So that means we have to select three women out of the remaining four women. So now we have to select three women out of four. Uh, similarly, in total, we have to select two men out of five. And we know that Mr. M is not selected. So that means we have to select two men out of the remaining four. So we have to select two men out of four. So now this can happen in 4C3 ways and this can happen in 4C2 ways. And this is equal to 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial 1 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial. And this is equal to 4 multiplied by 6. So this is 24. So there are 24 ways in which we could form a five member committee when Mr. M and Mrs. F both are not selected. So now to find the answer, we have to add all these number of ways. So the total number of ways is equal to 36 plus 16 plus 24. So it is 36 plus 16 plus 24 and this is equal to 76. And this means part B is the answer. So the option B is 76. So 76 is the answer. So this is one method to solve this question. Let's move to method number two, which is actually a simpler method. So this is our method number two. So see, we have to find the number of ways that are there of constituting a five member committee that ensures that both of them do not work together. Well, a simpler method to solve this question is to first calculate the number of ways uh, in which both of them work together. So let's say we calculate the number of ways in which both of them work together. And then we can subtract this from the total number of ways. So from the total number of ways in which we can form a five member committee. So when we subtract this, both of them work together from this total number of ways that we have to form a five member committee, we get the number of ways where both of them do not work together. So this is equal to the number of ways where both of them don't work together. And actually this is a simpler method. Let me show you how. Uh, so first of all, let's calculate the total number of ways in which we could form a five member committee. So here we are not putting any condition. So the total number of ways to form a five member committee. So the total number of ways are equal to, so out of uh, five men, we have to select two. So it is five C two and out of five women, we have to select three. So it is five C three. Note that we are not putting any kind of condition here. We are just calculating the total number of ways to form a five member committee. So uh, let's solve this. So solving this, we get it is equal to five factorial divided by two factorial, three factorial multiplied by five factorial divided by three factorial, two factorial. And this is equal to 10 multiplied by 10. So this is equal to 100. So there are 100 ways in which we could form a five member committee consisting of two men and three women. Now let us find this. The number of ways in which we form a five member committee where both of them work together. So in this case, we have to find this where both of them work together. So this implies that uh, Mrs. F is selected and Mr. M is also selected. So note that in total, we have to select two men out of five. And because we have already selected Mr. M, that means now we have to select one man out of the remaining four men. So now we have to select one man out of four and the number of ways in which we can do this is equal to four C one. Similarly, we have to select three women out of five. So in total, we have to select three women out of five. And because we have already selected Mrs. F, so that means now we have to select two women out of four and we can do this in four C two ways. So this is equal to four factorial divided by one factorial, three factorial multiplied by four factorial divided by two factorial, two factorial. And this is equal to four multiplied by six and this is 24. 
So this implies that uh, the number of ways to form a five member committee such that both of them are not together is equal to 100 which is the total number of ways to form a five member committee minus 24 which is the number of ways to form a five member committee where both of them are together and this is equal to 76. So this is method number two to solve this question and actually this is the preferred method when you are dealing with these type of questions. This is because the method number one involves too many cases. Like if you recall we made three cases while solving this question using method number one and the more the number of cases the more the time that you will have to spend in solving those cases and the probability of making a silly mistake or say some kind of calculation error is also higher when you are dealing with so many cases. Though in this question we only formed three cases while using method number one but there could be questions where you will have to form say four, five or six cases. So because of all these uh, reasons we prefer method number two to solve these type of questions as this method takes less time and the probability of making an error is also relatively low here. And this is all for this question.